What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look into the Revision Zero. We'll be breaking down how to get the Revision Zero along with its three new catalysts in this complete exotic guide. The Revision Zero is a unique exotic pulse rifle that comes with multiple modes. This new exotic will be available to all owners of the Witch Queen DLC and is being set up much like the Dead Messenger's Vox Obscura mission was when Witch Queen released. The Revision Zero will join the Osteo Striga and the three exotic glaives as being craftable exotic weapons. And you did not hear me wrong earlier, there are three catalysts to this exotic with each coming with their own exotic catalyst quest. Before we break down how to get the Revision Zero and its three catalysts, if you do end up enjoying today's video, be sure to hit the like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. The Revision Zero will become available on daily reset on December 20th through a new exotic quest called the Hidden Shape. And the first step of this quest will be heading to the helm and speaking with the Exo Frame. After listening to the encrypted message, we'll have to complete the arrival mission. And during this mission, we'll discover an ancient weapon that will need to return to Mars for further examination. This will lead us into the next step of the quest, where we'll speak with a core array on Mars at the Enclave. After speaking with Ikora, there will be a separate quest called the Relic that we'll have to complete. And the only further details to this is that Ikora Ray and the Hidden have resources on Mars that may be able to unlock the secrets of the weapon known as Revision Zero. This will actually be the first of a series of side quests that you'll have to complete, including Shaping Extraction and Shaping Resonant Alloys. The full details to each one of these side quests are not currently listed on the API, but all three will need to be completed before progressing the Revision Zero's quest. This is being set up much like the quest line for the Exotic Glaives when the Witch Queen released. It's likely that these three side quests will be tied in directly to the Operation Seraph Shield mission, which is a repeatable mission that has a legendary version, much like the Vox Obscura has been for the Dead Messenger, a mission that we'll touch base on more later in the video. Once completing each one of these side quests, you'll get to return to Mars and visit Ikora Ray, where you'll then get to craft your own Revision Zero. And it's at this point that I believe Guardians will have to locate those drop pods located across the galaxy and destroy them with the Revision Zero, because we will have to level up the Revision Zero and then reshape it to complete this exotic quest. And so far there have been 50 of these discovered between Europa and the moon, which is setting the Revision Zero up much like the Osteo Striga was introduced when the Witch Queen released. Everything about this exotic just screams that it was supposed to have been released when the Witch Queen was. Once you've acquired the Revision Zero, you will be able to get the three different ornaments available for it, Prime, Alpha, and One. But you won't be anywhere near done mastering this new exotic, because there's actually four new exotic catalysts. I think I mentioned three earlier, but yeah, it's four exotic catalyst. We don't know what they all do yet, but there are four overall exotic catalysts and four exotic catalyst quests. Now it's unclear if these will all come out at the same time or if they'll be spaced out one each week. Most likely it's going to be one each week. The first quest called Should You Choose to Accept It Part 1 starts you off by sending you into the Seraph facility during the Heist Battleground, which will be on the Twilight Gap, and during the activity you'll need to recover a crypt graphic index. Afterwards, you'll be heading to Europa, where you'll most likely be speaking with the stranger, where you'll then have to complete patrols and defeat enemies on Europa. Once done, you'll need to head to the Perdition Law Sector, where you'll have to upload a cipher, a cipher that returns back saying forever unable to find the way. You'll be using this key to unlock a dead drop, which will be contained within the Operation Seraph Shield mission. You'll need to complete this on on legendary difficulty and during this mission you'll have to discover a weapon schematic after using this key code 
This is most likely a riddle or puzzle towards an area within the Operation Seraph Shield. After discovering the weapon schematic and completing the Operation Seraph Shield mission on Legendary, you will be rewarded with the new exotic catalyst for the Revision Zero, but this is just part one of four. The second catalyst mission called Should You Choose to Accept It Part Two will send you back into a Seraph facility at the Twilight Gap to retrieve another cryptographic engine. Index. After completed, you'll head to the moon, where you'll most likely speak with Eris Morn, where you'll have to defeat enemies and complete patrols before completing the K1 Logistics Law Sector. And it's within this Law Sector that you're going to be uploading another cipher, and you'll get a message back that'll be used to unlock another dead drop. And this message is the end of all life. And just like the previous Catalyst quest, after this portion, you'll need to head back in to the legendary version of the Operation Seraph Shield, where you'll have to discover the new weapon schematic and complete the mission. The third Exotic Catalyst mission will send you back into another annex within the Twilight Gap through a heist battlegrounds at the Seraph facility, after which you'll need to head to the EDZ, where you'll most likely speak with Devrim K, where he'll have you defeat enemies and complete patrols while on the EDZ, before sending you to the Terminus East Law Sector within the Trostlands, where you'll upload another cipher and this one's going to return the message back saying to be hatched and just like the previous two catalysts you'll need to once again return to the legendary version of the operation seraph shield find another weapon schematic and complete the mission which brings us to our fourth and final catalyst should you choose to accept it part four this one's going to require you to travel to the cosmodrome where you'll most likely be speaking with shahan you'll once again need to defeat enemies and complete patrols while on the cosmodrome before heading to the exodus garden 2A Law Sector. This one's on the Cosmodrome. And there, you're going to upload another cipher. And this one, you're going to get a message back called To Defy Fear of a Powerful Being. This will be used to unlock a new dead drop located within the Operation Seraph Shield. And after that has been completed, you'll have an additional step for this exotic catalyst quest that the others did not. After completing all four of the catalyst quests, you'll get a new step that tells you to visit a weapons expert to analyze the catalysts. This could be referencing Banshee, but since this Hiddens member has been referencing themselves as FEN092, it makes me feel like it's going to be some other character. Most likely someone we've already seen as part of the Hidden. It does lead me to believe that this could be the Stranger, but time will tell. At this point, you'll be completely done. You'll have unlocked all four catalysts and mastered the Revision Zero. One of the most unique exotics and one of the most unique exotic quest lines as well. I think I'm most excited at the fact that it's another craftable exotic weapon and that unlike the Osteostriga, it wasn't exclusively tied into the pre-order and it'll become available for you to acquire on December 20th. And we still don't know the details as to what all perks and intrinsic traits that the Revision Zero will have, but as we get more details, I'll be sure to inform all of you. In the meantime though, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Revision Zero, if this will be a weapon you grind out for, or if you'll be passing. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new Light Guardian, just starting your journey, or a battle-hardened veteran, just looking for a new home. Be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this is Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.